Hi there, I have decided to record this video to show you what I'm working on right now and what you can expect in the next versions of real-world applications, namely vector layers. I am also experimenting with a tapped layout of the right panel with list of layers and tool property windows separated. This picture I have opened has four layers. Why isn't everything in a single vector layer? This is due to layer styles. I have different layer style applied to each layer. This is the background layer and it is fully editable. It has an outer shadow effect. The background contains one rounded rectangle with linear gradient fill. Because it is a vector layer, I can change various aspects of the rectangle. For example, colors or gradient direction. And I can also undo the changes. The second layer contains a rectangle outline with a slight inner shadow. The third layer is a bit more complex. It contains four objects. I can move the circle or if I select the text object, I can change its letters. As the mouse moves above the objects in the layer, they get highlighted. Clicking selects the object. By the way, do you know what's the difference between a pig and a dog? No? I'll show you. A powerful feature of vector editors is the ability to freely edit object shapes. Let's convert this circle to a generic shape. You get more control points with various functions. You can adjust tangent directions at selected points and at your own points when needed. This generic shape is roughly equivalent to a pen tool in Photoshop or to path tools in various vector editors. Another nice feature of vector editors is smoothness at any resolution. But this picture is not smooth. You can still see the pixels. Don't worry. Just let me set the zoom factor to 100%. Now the picture is smooth. Now let's use the resample operation on a picture containing vector layers. After rescaling the, to twice the number of pixels, the picture is still smooth. Let's do this once again. Vector layers in real world application will still be pixel centered and they play nicely with the classic raster layers. Image effects cannot be applied directly to vector layers, hence the simplified menu. But you can still apply them via layer styles. I will add the bevel effect to this layer. It doesn't fit the style of this icon. Now let's look at the media tab in the right panel. I have downloaded the default layer styles and set up the panel so that double clicking a file applies the style to the current layer. While the style is active, I can still freely modify the shapes.
watch me turn this ordinary pig into an alien six select pig. So this is it. Adding vector layers to reload pane will not affect its normal functionality. You will be able to use classic raster layers just as you use them now. But you will now have a new choice. I'm trying to make the vector layers very similar to the raster layers in the way they look and feel. Reload Paint will become an ideal learning tool for people who are thinking about making the transition from raster graphic to vector graphic. And by the way, a preview version of Reward Paint with vector layers will be available in a week or two. If you want to help me test it and eliminate the inevitable bugs and little user interface annoyances, just let me know. Thanks for watching and see you later when I do my next tutorial.